Welcome back. The colder winter months like January and February, not the time to stop keeping up with your home. In fact, it may be when your home needs a little bit of extra TLC the most. Sandy Tabasinic with Home Corp is here this morning with some winter fixes your home cannot live without. Sandy, good to see you again. Thank you for having me again. All right, let's start with your fix number one. It's insulating those exterior pipes. Right. How do we do that and well, why do we do that? Uh, well, we do that because we want to prevent any leaks or any pipes breaking or busting. Now, this is very important. If you haven't done this now, it's really a good time to do it. We still have cold temperatures coming, so okay. this is really we important. We don't want to wait till it's too late or else, man, that flood, flooding you of the really house. You really don't want that. Well, okay. the first thing anyways, just so you know, you should definitely like put away your hoses. Don't leave them with water inside and everything. Right. That's important. Okay. So I brought one for you today. Thank you. So this is the typical you know, pipe that you would have either in an exterior wall or outside. Sometimes people have those outdoor showers or that kind of thing. So this is something you can buy at any uh, hardware store. It's an insulation... Um, tube basically okay and I brought this one because these open they sell the ones that you can slide in but sometimes you need to be able to open well, it it's makes it easier yes and it's very easy all okay. you need to do is you can slide the pipe in all right got all it. you're gonna do is you're gonna peel off the, the glue this green tape thing the green tape is it like a self-adhesive it's self-adhesive as long as you peel so easy? oh okay there it goes yeah all you do is that you push it together your pipe's insulated, you're covered for the cold. I'm telling you, if I can do this, people, anyone can do it. And then That's it just it. goes together all on its own. That's it, it's done, you're done. I love that, okay. It, this is not expensive, this is a, a tube, this is actually one that I broke in half, but mm -hmm. one of these is about $2, $3, you're done. Saving a lot of money, yes. too, down the road. Okay, next up, those drafty windows and doors. <laughs> Yes. Okay. So this is very important. When you walk past the window, you feel that cold air coming into the right. house. So there's two ways that you can take care of it. Okay. It, it might be coming in from the outside where actually the brick is touching the window. So we have two options for the outside that I brought today. They're very inexpensive. One is foam, you know, insulation foam. You just kind of spray it on there. Okay. Um, just so you know, this is kind of what it looks like when you first spray it. Okay. Now. I let it sit for a little bit because once it's sprayed, it's kind of sticky. How long do you let it sit? It can be a couple of minutes, but okay. then once it sits there, you can kind of mold it and you can, you know, you can push. I feel that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So basically, this is going to go in, you know, for show purposes. Yeah. This is going to be sprayed here, and then once you're done, you can kind of push it and mold it. And if you have a little bit of excess, That's you can great. grab a little bit of water, an ice cube, anything. Okay. Touch it; it'll dissolve; it'll go away. You can't see it. I like that. Right. And how much is that? This is a can of this can be four or five dollars. Perfect. It'll do a lot of windows. I was going to ask you how many yeah. windows it could cover. Okay. Then, what's the other option? Then the other option is this cord um, caulking. This is very very easy to use. It looks almost like toothpaste yeah. and a rope. All you need to do is you can just, you can do this actually, you yeah, can do this. Yeah, to work. So basically, just take on the edge, all you do is say, for example, this is where the window touches the, the brick. Uh-huh, Just like push that? in, it, it's, it glues, after a while it'll dry, it'll stay there, that'll cover your space. I That's like all that. you need to do. All these are so simple, anyone could really do it. All right, right. what about our thermostats? You say we, can, we need to replace it with an efficient one. Yes, this is really, really important, it's a very big deal. 70% of your electricity bill is your thermostat. Okay. And Texas weather, the way, you know, it's cold, it's hot, it's, you know, you want, people walk into the house and they go, oh, it's really hot, they push it all the way. Your thermostat is eating your electric bill. How do you know if it's efficient or not? Well, most of the times the way that you're running it is what's making it efficient. So the great deal about these smart thermostats is that they're going to learn. This is really easy to do on okay. your own. All you need to do is, it could be an old one, whatever. Okay. All thermostats work the same way. Four wires, hot, cold, air, electricity. And we just pop it. Turn pop it off, off, pop it turn off. off the breaker in your house. Okay. Pop it off, replace the wires with this one. You put it in. This hooks up to a Wi-Fi. You can control it from wherever you are. Okay. If you we have cracks in the wall, it comes with a plate that you can actually use behind it. I want to make sure we get to this. We only have about 15 seconds, though. Cracks that happen over time because keep, of shifting. Keep texture, a can of texture, partable texture handy. You okay. spray it over over um, any area. We kind of did this last time. It's so we did easy this last to time. do, and you can do this any time of year, but you it's can really do good this, in the winter. Make sure you have one of these at home, and after you do this, you can uh, paint over it, and you're set and done. And then you do a little bit of sanding, poof. You're good poof, to go. You're done. You're all good right. to go. Sandy, thanks. We appreciate it. You can Welcome. get all those tips and find out more about Sandy and Home Corp at our website. It's homecorptx.com.